In this video, I show you how you can predict which penny stock to purchase that will be a winner. So imagine if one purchased a stock for pennies a share, and shortly thereafter it rises in value to dollars a share. Suppose stock A were 5 cents a share and stock B were 5 cents a share, and a year later stock A remained 5 cents a share, but stock B became $5 a share. Suppose one invests $500 in each stock, and stock A you buy 10,000 shares, and stock B you buy 10,000 shares. And a year later, stock A will be worth $500, so it wouldn't have changed much in price. And stock B would be worth $50,000. Having foresight on which stock to purchase can make a huge difference in one's investment. Now there are several reasons why penny stocks are so cheap. They are generally development stage companies, so they have yet to earn a profit and they don't trade on the New York Stock Exchange or NASDAQ but over the counter. So consequently a lot of mutual funds and ETFs cannot buy them because they're not allowed to buy anything that's not on a major uh, stock exchange. Being listed on a major stock exchange is the catalyst that makes a jump in price and then they can be added to mutual funds and ETFs. So, what are the metrics to look for when purchasing penny stocks? First, you want to focus on market capitalization. You want something with 250 million or more. The minimum market capitalization you need to be listed on the NASDAQ is 160 million. For the New York Stock Exchange, it's 100 million. So next, you have the increase in volume, you have to look at that over a 50-day period. And also, you want an increase in sales. If a com company is not increasing their sales, then it shows they don't have a successful business model. In addition to these three main things to look for, you want to also make sure the company has good management. You know, you want them to have proved leadership, you don't want just some fly-by-night CEO. You want them to have something new, you know, taking a novel approach to their business model. And you also want to look at what the company is developing, if they're coming up with new technology or patents, if they're updating their accounting practices so that they can be listed on a major stock exchange. So to find these stocks, you can use a stock screener. And what a stock screener does, it, you can screen for market capitalization, or you can look at the 50-day average volume to see if they're increasing. You could also screen for other things, but you can also look at company statistics. You know, check out the market capitalization of the company. You can also look at their 50-day average volume, and those are both statistics, and you can screen for them. See if they've been increasing their sales every year. And you can also read news articles about the company. You know, see if they have good management. You can also look at the company if they're developing the new technology. So from the, you can learn these things from the articles and they also mention if they've increased their sales. And if they're updating their account practices as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and happy investing.